years ago, I was able to ride the plane to Pagadian City, Sambuanga. It was a short trip, but it was enough to fuel my desire to travel around the country, to admire the landscape and see, to take a moment and breathe, while drinking in the fact that Philippines is a paradise that has so much more to offer in terms of history, culture, and traditions. So I made an oath. I swore to my beloved land to visit the places that make our country. On the top of my bucket list, there goes the Banawi Rice Terraces in Binguet. I have always dreamed about standing before its beauty as I think about how the native Ifugao carved the area for 2,000 years. How it actually showcases the complex method of farming and even the unity of the locals. Next on the list is Cebu City. We had stopped over in the area during our trip to Pagadian and it still saddens me that I did not even get to see Lapu-Lapu's monument in Mactan. The monument that was built to honor him and his bravery for fighting for our country during the colonization of Spain in the 15th century. I have always loved colorful events, reason why I put Baguio City on the third spot to witness the Panagbenga Festival, a celebration for a bountiful harvest of flower in the area. It was also included for it reminds me of our very own Dinamulag Festival here in Sambales. It reminds me of the people's love for being lively, for singing, for dancing, and for simply having a good time. Along with the culture and traditions other countries have brought came Catholicism. Baroque churches were built during the Spanish era that we now consider as national treasures, like San Agustin Church in Manila, Santa Maria Church in Ilocosur. But the Basco Cathedral in Batanes was the one I put on my list. It is the oldest church in the area and was built for Our Lady of the Immaculate Conception. One of the reasons why I also want to travel is that I want to taste every Filipino dishes in the country. The ever so love adobo, little bit chicken or pork, pinakbet of Ilocanos, sisig that originated from Pampanga, laing from the southern region of Bicol, piyangang manok from Zamboanga, and other diverse dishes that I know we will all love. Being able to go from places to places has always been fascinating for me. I know it would be such a great feeling to witness the hospitality of the Filipinos I might meet along the way. Their welcoming glances that are as warm as the hands of the elders I asked for as I said, Mano po. The homey taste of the food they might serve Something that will remind me of my mom's bibingka that she used to feed me as I learned how to read abacata. Something familiar. Something that I know we own. And I realize that there are so much more to our country that we have yet to discover. The history. The culture, the traditions our ancestors have left us, the food, the national heritage sites, and even the Filipino values that we should always respect and keep. Amidst the pandemic, let us uphold our principle to always promote and love our own. Despite the circumstances, let us live by the glory and honor of our countries and its countrymen's past. For we, we are Filipinos. Those are what make us one. We are Filipinos. And along with those, we are the one who make our country.